Go ahead. I'm going to make history at Rags to Riches when I become the first ever two-time Rags to Riches contract holder. That's what the future holds. For love Bryce. And I'll bite somebody else's ear off. I don't give a damn. Good. I'm good. Oh, I have no more questions. Yeah. Nope. Thank you, Mr. Price. I would say it's been a pleasure, but Fuck. I'd be lying. Now we're joined by greatness. Hello. That's me. That's yep. Me. She is the SPBW World Heavyweight Champion and also one half the World Tag Team Champions. You want to start us off? How's it feel to be the best right now in the company? Because you are the best. I mean, I've worked really hard to get where I am. You have. And the title of being the best, it's very much overused. But um, I'm honored. But at the same time, it's not the correct term I would use. Um, I mean, I've done everything that I wanted to do and that I needed to do. And sure, in due time, everyone in the world will probably say, Nicole, you're the best. I'm the best female competitor in background wrestling because I'm the only female competitor in background wrestling. But, uh, I think I still got a ways to go to catch up with some people. Not to name names, but Dustin. What, what does it feel like to have worked so hard and now, for some reason, sure you had your GSW World Heavyweight title run, you won it. What what's the difference between then and now? Um, good question. Damn, That's a good question. Um, well, I mean, a lot of things have have changed since then to now. I mean, I've grew as a competitor. Um, I've changed as a competitor, and I really have wish he smacked the shit out of you for that one. Um. But outside of wrestling, I've grew as a person and have changed as a person. But um, from then to now, I think the one thing that has changed is the equality factor in wrestling as a whole. Because then I wasn't even thought of as to be a world champion until Dustin said, hey, let's give Nicole a chance. And then now, every once in a while, I'll hear my name brought up into a world title picture, and it feels good, but at the same time, it's just, I'm kind of used to it now. Um, I remember when I got asked to be a part of the, the very first chance that I got to become, like, be a competitor in a world title match, and I so excited that I broke the deck. Well, uh, but um, now I look at that and I look at now and it's it's kind of just the regular for me. I mean, sure I can go without winning a world title or any title for that matter, but I think when everyone like sees and hears the name Nicole Little, they're like, she's the first woman to hold the world title in backyard wrestling, maybe not in wrestling in general, because people still think, oh, you know, fuck backyard wrestling. Fuck those people. But, I agree. Uh, I mean, in my mind, I'm the first to do it, so. You are. My next question. Mm -hmm. You defended the JSW title against Will. Mm -hmm. But now you got a lot more hungrier sharks in this ocean than just Will. Do you see this competition being stiffer than what you had in GSW? Okay. Well, let's see. Let me go down the list. Logan? No. Hunter? 
Eh, maybe. A little bit. Sometimes. Only on Tuesdays. Um, <laughs> Will? <laughs> no. Definitely not. Um, that was the good. mechanic? <laughs> no. Everybody calls him the mechanic. It's funny. Kagan? Isn't he injured already? Yeah, he's... he's um, Dustin, I mean, I faced him one up on him already. I was whatever. Um, I mean, I probably have more luck with stiffer competition if I faced my dog. Okay, I, I have another question. And no offense, but you just bypassed the man that's challenging you at the reunion show. Oh, kind. You've, you've never faced someone like kind before, and that's first-hand experience. What's your mindset going into that match? I was even proud he did scare the piss out of me yesterday. Yeah. But that's about it. Um, his character is as bad as stale as a bag of chips that you leave open in a cabinet. His character reminds me so much of the deceiver that every time I wake up, I'm like, hmm, who's this bitch? Just another person that I can run circles around. Congratulations, you can do flippy shit. I can too. Congratulations, you can paint your face and get it frozen. I can too. Congratulations, you can buy a Walmart mask and think you can scare everybody. I can too. But I walk into any backyard and people shake in their boots. You came up thinking you were going to be the shit. I am the shit. Well said. Well said. Oh my God. Let's let's get your thoughts on your opponent yesterday. But and it, here's the thing: we had fortune tellers, spoiler alerts, that they were already giving you the world heavyweight championship. Was that match harder fought than what you thought it was going to be? Okay. So before I answer that question, so in the backyard. When I'm wrestling, I'm a completely different person than when I'm not wrestling. Um, in the tag team match, everyone's seen that I basically just laid down and said, Will, pin me. Like, it's your yard, isn't it? You didn't do shit. After that match, I pulled him aside and I said, You better not do that in our match. He brought his A game. But he still sucked. It, it just so happens that Maybe, maybe talking to him made him realize that, oh, you know, I can do some things. But um, it's still going to take a lot more than some things to keep me down. And like I said yesterday, he doubted. He doubted that I was going to beat him. Just like most of the people that I face doubt that I'm going to beat them. Doubt that I have what it takes to beat them. And uh, by the looks of it... Uh, I did just that. Now we know you're the most honest person here. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've seen what Logan Price did at the Hall of Fame. So if we're going to get an honest answer, it's going to happen now. What's your thoughts? I think he's a coward. Mm -hmm. Honestly. It was the biggest moment. I say the biggest moment because I know how hard Clay Mercer, Mikey Reedy, and Eric Tyler Mullins have fought to be relevant as oblivion. It was their moment and he took that away from them. I'd like to say that he did that, not not to get the heel heat. No, no. It's probably because deep down inside and in that tortured little heart of his, and I say little because it is little, that he sat back and realized that he had the chance to be a GSBW Hall of Famer and actually get inducted. But he stepped away and told me to shove that Hall of Fame induction up my ass. But, um, you know, what he did, it's going to come around and bite him in the ass. Because, listen, I already have my doubts. Listen, Logan, if you think that you're going to do to me what you did to them, you are sorely mistaken. I pity you if you had the slightest idea of doing to me what you did to them. It's already bad enough that your mentor got turned on. 
It's already bad enough that at the most sacred part of a wrestling show, the Hall of Fame ceremony, you turned your back on the people who built you up. It's sad, really. I pity you, I do. You may be my tag team partner. You may be one of my best friends. But you're a coward. That's probably the fakest shit I've ever witnessed in my entire career. And I've seen a lot of fake shit. You put Shady to a whole nother level. Next question. Hmm. Someone please ask me about the tag team title match, please. Uh, Hunter Ashburn. Uh, well, <laughs> I carried that match. Next question. Uh, I don't have one more question. <laughs> oh, please. Keep it going. I could do this all day. Bob, do you have it? Bob, please, don't. You said please, no. Oh, it's there still, but uh, it doesn't hurt that much. I think everybody got sunburn. I know I did too. Uh, I think I but. think it missed me. You know what? No. I want to go back on this topic. <clears throat> all right. So. I don't know. Title, no title. I don't do fuck. <clears throat> Last year, Kind was introduced. Last year, everyone was like, Kind this, Kind that. His first match was a Debbie Downer. Really. I mean, it was a good match. It was. I'll give him that. But, um, jumping off of a hay bale, jumping off of a hood of a car, doesn't make you any more of a wrestler than standing face to face with one of the best. I know so many wrestlers in backyard wrestling and wrestling as a whole who can do flippy shit, but still don't amount to shit. I know so many people who paint their face, who walk out to creepy music, who think that they can seduce children, and I say children like the deceiver, children, and think that they are going to go up against some of the best and do, no offense Dustin, what they did to Dustin and bury him alive. Congratulations. Okay? Congratulations. But uh, I'm not Dustin. No. And I'm not taking anything away from that match or either of the matches or from Dustin. But I am taking everything away from you, Kai. I don't get all hot and bothered like Logan does when you come out to your entrance theme. I don't get scared and I don't shake in my tennis shoes when you do your little spider crawl because newsflash, I was the first one in the backyard to start doing that one too, bitch. You know, what really bothers me is the fact that he's the knockoff Nicole. Bob Black, check. Creepy bitch, check. I remember. <laughs> you remember. You know, I remember. It's one thing to have a knockoff Dustin, but it's another thing to have a knockoff man. But wait, kind. You can't really be a man. You're nothing more than a punk ass bitch. You can't really be a man if you're nothing more than a coward hiding behind face paint. A coward hiding behind a camera. Against all odds. But if it was down to you and I, everyone in this room would say me. Why? Because I'm not a phony. I'm not someone who when I debut, hype myself up and then lose. And then, is it heard of for almost what? Five months? Mm. So how many more months is it gonna take after I beat you? Seven? A year? Two years? Or are you gonna retire? Boo hoo, you lost to a girl, cause guess what? I'm pretty good at predicting the future and the future is telling me right now that either A, you're right now shaking in your boots or B, too scared to even watch this video. Cause you know for a fact that 
after yesterday when I told you that I wanted to have a match with you, that this was going to come. I'm not, not worried about Will and his rematch. I'm not, no offense, not worried about Hunter, not worried about Dustin, not worried about Logan, not worried about anybody. I'm definitely fucking not worried about you. You're just another step in the ladder to success for me. So you can take your trench coat, you can take your little top hat, you can take your ugly little scroll, scroll, crow thingy of whatever it is, I don't know what it's called, and you can shove it up your ass. Because you're nothing more than a knockoff Nicole from 2016 when I was the deranged dreamer. You're nothing more than a knockoff Nicole of two years ago when I thought I was better than everybody but wasn't put in my place. But look at me now. Maybe, just maybe, you'll be as good as me when I retire. Maybe, just maybe, when I'm dead and gone, you'll be half as good as me, but probably not. So go and edit your little video packages together. Try to make me scared. But it's not going to happen. I've stared death in its face and said, suck my dick. So, kind, suck my dick. Any more questions? Well, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm Shut up, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the time. Okay. Thank you. Kind's a dead man. Oh, God. Oh, kind no. looks up. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Mean Jean Bob Rudder. Bob, out of all the competitors we've had up here, you're the one that seen the most action yesterday. You're the one that did commentary and everything. What was your overall thoughts on the whole event? I thought the whole event was better than the Survival War, so it's probably the best event we put on, in my opinion. It was that good. It already been there? From uh, top to bottom. Did you have any talents yesterday, any superstars that, well, impressed you? John impressed me a lot against Logan and against Hunter as well. What was your thoughts on the upset on Hunter? I was actually shocked. I could not believe that happened. He got, but in his defense, he did. Uh, there was a distraction made. But, Thank you. But I was still shocked that John beat him. So that surprised me. All right. What? Oh God! Don't look behind you. Okay. Anyways. Uh, what match stuck out to you the most off the whole card? The match that stuck out to me the most would have to be the the match where Nicole won the UCW World Title from Weeb. All right. She was very emotional at the end of that match, and I was. A, That's my favorite match. And I loved. Uh, I loved. Uh, speech that she did at the end after the match was over that was that was impressive it was cool now in all in your whole career you, i know for a fact you've never seen a devil's graveyard match no, I, I have not. <laughs> what was your thoughts of, of that match that that was one of the craziest matches i've ever seen those two fought beat the living crap out of each other that was just, that was just, some people was calling it the match of the century, so. Would you agree with that statement? It was a good, it was a good match, I will say that. It was a crazy match, but it was good. They fought back and forth, oh my goodness. They beat the holy hell out of each other. What a match it was. It was a match, it was a good match. I will say that, great match. Did that match live up to the hype? It did. I thought it did, yes. I was actually surprised about the outcome, but... I don't think you're all one. <laughs> all right. We've gotten everyone's opinion, and now it's your turn, about Mr. Price and Oblivion. The only thing I got to say is, what the hell is he thinking? <laughs> he bit a guy's ear and caused him to bleed. What the hell is he thinking? The only thing I got to say on that. Other than that... That's all I got to say. That was just made me sick. Very true. Yeah, very disgusting. And all that led to the fatal four-way for the unification. And you've seen the events transpire. Yeah. 
What advice do you have for the deceiver? Run. You think so? Oh, yeah. The beast is coming after him. He needs to run. Because if he gets a hold of him, the deceiver's a dead man. And that goes for kind as well. He gets a hold of kind. He's a dead man as well. So uh, Okay. Let me ask. You've got the rogue beast. And this guy is unstoppable when he's the rogue beast. So... Those two boys better look out. Let me let me ask you this then. Do you think it was a conspiracy theory? Very well could have been. With Khan Khan and the Deceiver very just well to take him out? Those two. Could have been, very well been because they know how good it's, it's they very know true. how good the beast is, so it's well, very true. He kinda looked as if the Deceiver was under mind control. Yeah, he very well could have been the one he could have been doing that as well. Like, yeah. I've never seen it. It did like look that. like because it did look like he was kind of controlling him a little bit, so. And I've never seen anything like it. Like, we interviewed Logan earlier, and yeah, it, he, did, it did look he like said he, was he being has controlled. no memory of what conspired. He said he has no memory after yeah. the tag title match. I agree. He, he says he has no memory of the Deceiver even existing. No. So I have no clue. Well, what's your thoughts on the Beast's decision for the end of the year? I hate to see him go, but I can understand why he's doing it because uh, I can't do it anymore because I have terrible. I have a terrible back. Plus, both of my knees are shot, so I'm not. I know exactly where he's coming from. And I know the hunter can't. He's not going to be doing it much longer either because his body's giving up on him too as well. Is it fair to say though that the company has replacement plans now? Yeah, it is. I think so. Okay. I think uh, I think the company's in good hands. You got Logan still going. Nicole, she's, she's, Nicole's, she is great. She's good. She's very good. So she, the company's in good hands right now. All right. I think. Corey, you got any questions? Bob, how you feel about being a two-time Hall of Famer? No, it feels great. Actually, a three-time Hall of Famer. Three-time. That's, that's right. Because right, I'm, I'm also a fan. Hall of Famer from X, maybe X W E. So, Hunter, you got good. any questions? What are they serving at the home tonight? That's my next question. Uh, I think, I think it's no, it's mashed potato night, sir. Oh, yeah. Mashed potatoes like and tur turkey, tur 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 gravy. Oh, oh. Like that sounds like yeah, a damn good time. I'm invited, right? Yeah, I got me. Okay, good. Okay, I do have a question. Um, we just talked to Nicole. Yeah. Um. She warned Logan Price. Yes, she did. tried to do anything like he did to Oblivion, that that'd be absolute hell to pay. And Logan knows knows not to, but do you think he's stupid enough to try it? If he is, especially with Nicole, if he is, and their history, if he does, it's a big mistake. I'm telling you that right now. I don't think you. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think he's stupid enough to. I try. hope he. He better not be. It's on that guy. So if he is, I see what Nicole did to him in GSW. I think it'll be three times worse because Nicole's had his back throughout this year. Yeah, she has more. So, than, I would say more than Oblivion has. So going along with Nicole, let me ask you this: Who who was more of the underdog? Was it Will, or now is it Kine? I think Kind might be, because I've seen now the goal is right now. Kind could be, he's in trouble. I'm telling you, he's got two, he's got Nicole gunning for him. Plus, he's still got the beast coming after him. So, Kind, my advice to you, buddy, look out, because you got two of the best coming after you. As you can see, uh, we've got the rags to riches coming up. Give me. Give me your input. Who, out of all the superstars, of anyone who needs it. that is, yeah, who needs it the most? Who do you think needs to win, win rags to riches the most? Well, this is going to, y'all might say I'm biased on this, but I think the man that needs it the most, the guy that's not been the world champion for over a year now. I mean, I see your point. And that's Hunter Becker. He likes being the world heavyweight champion, I think. I think he's hungry for it. If he actually qualifies for that match, I see him winning Rags the Rich. So, I really do. So that's your pick? 
That's the guy that I'm looking at in the in this match. But there's going to be some other. I'm not changing my pick. Heenan. Hunter, if Hunter, well, if, but he has to qualify for the match first. Thing. Exactly. We don't even know if he's going to qualify. Exactly. Uh, also, qualify also, also, my question is, what if it's Dustin versus Hunter for a qualifying? That match is too close to call. Cause both those guys are good. Dustin's good, and so is Hunter, but. Dustin knows what it takes to win Rags. Yes, he does. He's actually won it before, and Hunter has not. So Dustin could have the advantage in that match. But oh wait, now that we talk about it, Hunter was the one Dustin cashed Rags to Riches in on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What? In GSW, I cashed I cashed the briefcase in on you. Yeah. Somebody else did too. Well, I did it when you were standing because I did like. Sure, you didn't do a cheap shot. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let's be honest, Logan didn't know how to cash it in. Okay, so what you're saying is you see Nicole slaughtering Khan at the reunion show. Oh, yeah. Who do you yourself want to see face Nicole for the World Heavyweight Championship at Rags to Riches? Who do I want to see? Hmm. You know who I'd like to see take her on? Who? Even though he'd probably get, he'll be destroyed by the beast, but I wouldn't mind seeing the deceiver go after him. Oh my God. I'd love to see what she does to, would do to him, uh, be honest with you. He's a dead man. He'd be a dead man, I think. But that would be an interesting match, to say the least. All right. <laughs> so, one more thing about Hunter Becker. Oh God. We know Scott is apparently ducking now. He's ducking. Do you. See Scott somehow taking the U.S. heavyweight title from him. To be honest, after what I saw, what he did to the Deceiver in his debut match, uh, Hunter could be in trouble if he does face him. Cause Scott looks, a, he's a very powerful man. Looks like. To pick me up. You see what happens. He tried to. He, I'm telling you, man. You see what he did to him. Yeah. Don't count. Don't count the maniac out. The mechanic. Get it That's right. That's maniac. That's what he's, he's named. I'm the broadcast journalist. Hit the maniac, Well, what did it feel like to call call matches yesterday with Eric? Was it, it was a bittersweet awesome. it moment? Was, it was bittersweet because I know it was going to be his last event, but it was great to have him uh, be side by side with him again. Brought back some good memories. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure did. Any more questions? I'm trying to think of this. We got 19 minutes. You got time. God knows it's going to take you 15 to think of one, Cole. <laughs> Any more out of, out of Out of all the historic moments you've seen in your days of backyard wrestling, period, what is the most historic? Most historic moment. Probably Nicole winning the world title for the first time in GSW. Because it was, a, she became the first female to win a world title in anything. So that's probably the most historical moment I've seen. I heard my name. They asked me what the most historical moment was in my career in backyard wrestling. I said, "You winning the world title as the first female." Um. Now that's your position in the company. You're you're not general manager. You're just. He's a bystander now. Yeah. Uh, commentator, referee. What in the future would you like to see happen and take place? Like new match types or new new matchups? Matchup. I wouldn't mind seeing the Deceiver and Kind go one on one. That'd be an interesting match. What do you think about that? Hocus Pocus. <laughs> be a wild, that'd be a wild match, to say the least. Spooky. Uh, let's see. John and, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing John and, uh, Dustin maybe have a match down the road. Lord, that's a slaughter. That is a slaughter. That's worse than Logan and John. <laughs> <laughs> I had an idea on that one. Especially when we move Dustin's in. Well, maybe if John wouldn't be in a bad mood, possibly. Oh, but if Dustin's in a bad mood, John, no. Uh, not a good idea. Do you foresee a collision course for the World Heavyweight Championship? Collision course between... Do you see a collision course brewing for the World Heavyweight Championship? I, I see. She's, she's got some people gunning for her. 
She really does. I think you misinterpreted the question there. Collision course. Little versus little. Oh, you're talking about the. Oh, of course. I do see that coming down the road. Yes. Of course. Of course. Because uh, those two have had hell. They've had some hellacious matches. This one, and this one, I think, will be the most meaningful. Could be. Yeah. It will because, be. Because of what Nicole's had to go through to get to oh, this yeah. moment. I agree. I could possibly believe I that agree. even if Dustin stood in her way, it'd be, it'd be tough for Dustin. Yeah. Little versus little, yeah. I see Dustin and Nicole going at it again. I sure do. Hubby. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my. Oh, not you. All right. You got any more questions, Cole? I think I'm all questioned out. Yeah, me too. Hunter? Ah. Okay, never mind. Bob, thank you for t um, your time, buddy. I do believe that is all the interviews, correct? Yes. Correct, Amendo. Thank you for watching. Did I hit this button? Yeah, you hit the button. Okay, bye, Bob. Bye. <laughs>